Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. And a very good morning. Happy Sunday. Another repeat of what we had yesterday is in store. Still tracking the potential for a shower or thunderstorm for this afternoon. I'll have more details on that in just a few moments. Let's step outside the drums this morning. Look at that gorgeous sunrise this morning. Really not a cloud in sight. Has some low lying fog this morning, but temperatures are right into the 60s, so pretty comfortable as you're stepping out the door this morning. And to check on the radar, things are looking good. We are staying dry in parts of Scranton, Hazleton, Han Hanover. Not much to talk about. This is going to be the story from much of the day today, but as I mentioned, we are still looking for that potential for a pop up shower or thunderstorm for this afternoon. Those temperatures pretty comfortable, mostly in the 60s. 62 in Mount Pocono, 64 down towards Pottsville, up towards Towards the northern tier, still in the mid 60s uh, as you get closer towards the New York state line. So, overall, a pretty comfortable start. Yes, you might notice the humidity this morning. That is going to be the story as we head throughout the next few days as well. Those temperatures on the rise. By the time we hit lunchtime, right into the upper 70s, even the lower 80s. And then by the time we hit this afternoon into the dinnertime hours, we are going to be pretty uh, warm back up into the mid to even upper 80s for our daytime highs today. Our average high for this time of year, right around 82. So with that, we are going to be about slightly above average for what we typically see for this part of the year. That comfort index, as I mentioned, you are going to notice that humidity today. We are going to be more in that humid, sticky category. And that's going to continue as we head towards tomorrow as well. I think tomorrow might be a slightly more humid too. So just something to keep an eye on. It's going to be uh, kind of a muggy day or the muggy trend for the next few days as we head towards uh, the beginning of part of next week. Your park forecast, if you want to go out today, it's going to be around 68, around 7 a.m. and then we're warming right back up into the lower 80s, say around 11 a.m. So we're still going to be pl see a plenty or plenty of sunshine this morning and just seeing a few clouds here and there. But by the time we hit this afternoon, if you want to head out to the Pocono Raceway, temperatures are going to be right around 84 there. Mostly to partly sunny, seeing those clouds starting to building for the afternoon. We might see a stray shower or a thunderstorm and kind of plan that out for you. Let's look at our future forecast. By the time we hit this morning, still staying pretty clear, just seeing a cloud or two. Other than that, we are going to see those clouds kind of building in a little bit more towards the afternoon. Still seeing a lot of sunshine as well, but we still have that potential for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm. This model is really not indicating much going on. So just something to keep an eye on, but I think most of us are going to stay dry for much of the day today. Kind of recap what's going on. 88 for our daytime I here in the Valley Cities, mostly to partly sunny. We are looking for that pop up shower or thunderstorm. I think. Uh, most of us will stay dry today, which is some good news. Tonight, dropping into the upper 60s, still pretty muggy under a partly cloudy sky. And then we're also looking for any of those stray showers to come to an end early this evening, and we should dry out for much of the night tonight. Your seven day forecast, the first part of the week does look a little unsettled. Monday, we have a warm front moving through. Still going to be hot and humid right back up into the upper 80s. Still looking for a pop up shower or thunderstorm. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, we have the slow moving cold front moving through. That's going to provide us with, I think, the first half of. Tuesday should be dry, but then we will see those showers and thunderstorms returning for the afternoon. That's going to continue into Wednesday since it's going to be a slow mover, but those temperatures will drop back towards seasonable levels by the time we hit Wednesday. Still a little bit on the humid side, but then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, high pressure starts to return. Looking for a pop up shower, as some of the models have indicated, but I think we should start to dry things out by the end of next week. You can always download the interactive radar and the eyewitness weather app to your phone and get the latest forecast video and always go to pahomepage.com for the latest. I'm excited to enjoy the day today. I know. I was going to say, do you have any plans after work? It's so yeah, nice out. I always like to be outside. Um, might go for a run, so we'll see. Yeah, me Compared too. to last weekend when it was ex like extremely hot, like, I'll take this. So. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah. like, I went, usually I run on the treadmill, but I'm I'm like this makes you want to like run outside, like yeah, enjoy the sun, you find know? some trails. Yep. I, I might get lost though. <laughs> Knowing me, if I go and like search for a trail, I might just not keep your phone back. handy. Okay, but what if there's no service? Um, that's a different story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Call me if you need help. Okay, thanks, Logan. Well, your Sunday morning sports show is coming up right next.